Welcome back, DM Blair, my DM life. Okay, so it's been a while since I made a video, I'm very sorry. Been very busy. Got a lot going on. It's hot here in PA. I don't know if any of you guys can't see it, but... Our little micro farm out there is growing up pretty sweet-like. Plenty of veggies. Okay, so I got a little project I've been wanting to do. I just bought this and sat it aside um, for, like, you know, a moment of, like, when I can get the time. In fact, I have boxes full of projects that are just set aside that when I got time I can work on them. So, what I have here is a carving knife. I got it from Michael's, I think. Now, I'm, I bet you're thinking, what kind of project can you do with a carving knife? I mean, other than carve with it. The project I have in mind is this. Let's see how... Well, first, let's open this up. Somebody else I know got one of these. They said, it is sharp, so beware... Beware, beware, beware. So, let's get all this packaging off here. Um, alright. Oop. Let me just sit there for now. Actually, it's not really that sharp. This doesn't seem like it. Hold on. Here's a piece of food. Carve. Alright, so my project is I'm thinking about cutting this handle down. I don't I don't like it that long and I mean maybe if you're gonna grasp down on it you're gonna shk, shk, like like this. Maybe like that. But I bought this more for like carving carving. So I'm thinking more like um, smaller, like maybe only like this big. So let's um, let's draw in here what we what I think I might want it to look like. We'll go from there. Can you guys see that? Can you guys see that? Okay. So here's the blade, obviously. Here's where the tang ends. So maybe go like. Right here. Yeah, I like that. Let's just get the uh, let's just get the initial cut done, which we can do right over here in my bandsaw. See it there. So we put this on. Hmm. It is plugged in. Hmm. One second. <laughs> it got unplugged somehow. The bar that we plug everything into. So, now we got a grinder over here. We'll grind this now. Can you see? Can you guys see? I don't know if you guys can see it. It's hard to tilt. Maybe uh, over here a little better. So it's, uh, that's the thing about a garage, you know? You know have the right light. Maybe we can go from this angle. 
You see that there? Okay, you can see the grinders right there. So. Okay, so I'll bring you back over here, and this is what we got now. Uh, I don't like that. I'm trying to fix that. Oh.
Okay. So, this is what I come up with. And I like it. I like it. So, it's the size of my big honking hand. I like that. So I'm thinking about maybe putting a uh, a leather wrap on it. I don't care that it's all rustically blah like that. That's pretty cool, you know, the handle. <clears throat> so now what we're going to do is we're going to treat the wood. I got some uh, cutting board oil. Yeah, I like it. I like the way it looks now. I like the handle kind of like all rough and rustic like. That's pretty cool. Kind of looks unique. Ah, there you go. So, I took a uh, cheap, um, I took a cheap, uh, Knife from Hobby Lobby, or not Hobby Lobby, Michaels, from Michaels. We kind of modified it a little so it suits what I'm doing. I kind of like it. It's pretty sweet. So, I hope this helps. I hope it inspires. I hope, you know, because now I can carve some wood with it. Um, I'm going to probably make some sort of a sheath or something for it. Maybe a little... Maybe a little handle accent or something, so out of leather. So uh, when I make that video, I'll uh, I'll make sure I post it. So until next time, guys. Um, you know, don't think because you see something at the store that that's really all you got. Like, oh man, I wish I wish they had. You know, there's nothing wrong. Like I did with the hatchet video some videos ago. I did a list of uh, a string of hatchet makeover videos where I turned a crappy hatchet into something pretty decent looking. Um, never be afraid to be unique. Never be afraid to modify. Never be afraid to try anything new. You know, life is about taking risks, taking chances, and enjoying what you do. So until next time, guys, be safe, be well, be kind.